Hey guys, it's Uncle Jonah here, and I'm back with another home brew review. Boom! In your face. Um, and we're visiting a good old friend of ours, that's Brewmaster Ben. And uh, how do you know it's Brewmaster Ben's? Well, it doesn't focus very well, but here we've got his little mop bucket beers cap, which is always cool. Um, and this one is his old rosy turbo cider from uh, March. Look at that, 6%-ish. Why, why are we drinking this now? Well, one, because I forgot or I lost a big box of brew, which I've now found. But two, um, because as you saw from my Supermarket Sunday video, I tried to harvest some yeast from the old Rosie, but I only used two bottles. And um, to be honest, I don't think I, I used enough. Um, and it didn't very, it didn't harvest very well. Put it that way. I got a tiny bit of uptake on the yeast, but it kind of fizzled out, and um, it was really piss weak. So next time, maybe four bottles should be enough. Fingers crossed. So I'm feeling a bit down because of that. So I thought I'd try the Brewmaster version and see what we get. Now I don't know how lively this is going to be, so. Oh, not too bad. I'm using my now patented technique. You, what you do, you get your opener, get the old Venus opener, and you literally just go and you watch the neck here. And if loads of bubbles come up, because you've only just tiny, tiny little thing, if you let go, the, uh, the cap seats rock back um, and it seals the bottle again little trick there from Zippy Viking and it works really well especially if you've got those lively ones that maybe you haven't drunk or like me you've lost <laughs> and you're not sure if it's carbonated in the bottle uh, but this one has I'm gonna get as much in there as we can before the sedimente yep there we go just caught it in time look at that that is bubbling away like a good one. I oh, know, if I bang it on the table, get rid of some of the bubbles. Look at that. <laughs> see, see me through there? Hey, look at that bubbling, man. We got a, quite a good amount of head for a cider. Head retention of cider is weird, don't you think? And it doesn't, never quite happens. Oh, I'm getting that alcohol smell. Hopefully, because it's been fermenting in the bottle so much, secondary, uh, bottle conditioned even, um, this is going to be a bit stronger. So 6%-ish, I reckon it's about 6 and a half, six and a half ish now. And I'm getting that champagne-y kind of smell, aroma. So hopefully this is going to be quite strong. Saying that though, Old Rosie itself is pretty sweet. So I'd be interested to see if this is sweet or dry. I suspect it's going to be quite dry. <laughs> Cheers, Ben. Let's dive in. It is reasonably dry. You definitely got that apple taste but it's it's a sort of dull apple taste like a really thick gnarly apple taste some of you that have watched my channel for a while know that I really like my dry ciders and this one is pretty dry but it's got that it's got that dull kind of dull taste this would have been sweet i reckon six months ago this would have been sweet now it's kind of medium i'd say um not quite what i go for usually but that that's a nice cider man and six percent or six and a half as we said pff, few of those man and you wouldn't know what day it was man you'd be lying in a haystack with a bit of hay sticking out of your mouth going Wah! <laughs> Tell you what's weird though, for the amount of carbonation that we got at the beginning, it's not that well carbonated in the actual drink.
Yeah, it's quite still now. And I've just got a cat jumped on me. Hey, Dutch. <laughs> he, he's loving the cider. Well, some of you that have watched my uh, my videos before know that sometimes, whoa, get whipped in the face by a cat's tail. Well, I've opened this one now, so it's got to be a live video. Um, but yeah, sometimes my cats are very naughty. I better wrap it up. Ben, this has been a very, very good cider. I like it. And it's a shame that my harvesting of the old rosy yeast didn't go to plant. Whoa. There he goes. He's off. <sighs> Guys, this has been a very live homebrew review. Hopefully, we'll um, see you for the next one, because homebrew's what I like to do. P.S. If you want to send me some homebrew, no problem. I, I love to receive homebrew. The only caveat with that is I have to review it. Even if it's really bad, I have to review it. Um, so please uh, contact me through the chat um, or through the YouTube and we'll sort some, uh, sort some reviews out for you. Get your name out there. Check out, see if you're doing some good beers. Guys, take care. Remember, cider <laughs> attracts the cats. Shum on. <laughs>